I am Sanjana and I belong to the city of Delhi and uh, I am basically a very ambitious person as for my uh, whatever I am thinking about. My first person's idea would be that uh, a website should be launched. Like I want to launch a website for all the law students because they are facing like not every law student has uh, access to good uh, reading material. Uh, people from uh, national law schools and just a few national law schools have access to good uh, reading material and good legal material as such. And uh, not even like many law schools have the uh, the software is called West Law and Manupatra etc., which are essential to find out the case laws and etc., which is which helps in our study, essential part of our studies. So through that website, I will be uh, asking other law students and law students from various uh, colleges from various years mm -hmm. and even uh, who are passed out or who have joined any firms and etc., they can contribute because laws are, as such are not just to read, they are to apply. What are we going to do is that after the mm -hmm. f five year degree we're going to get, we're going to apply the laws. So to simplify these mighty laws, I need uh, people or and in, fa in fact my inputs as well to simplify these laws with the, with the help of examples, with whatever they've read about the laws and in the form of articles, short articles explaining one legal concept that is it. That's how like with such drops we can make an entire sea which will help the people. Also, the very big problem what we have is the internships. Internships also teach, teach us a lot of application applicability of the law. But uh, people from uh, not not very renowned law schools do not, do not get an opportunity to intern with the best law firms, with the best mm -hmm. lawyers. Mm -hmm. That is how, like, I am going to connect with lawyers. I want to connect with lawyers and such people who can connect with connect us with the best law firms and the best people to intern with and the best people who can teach us and what they require from us to become something, to be interning with them so that the law students will know how to approach them. Mm -hmm. There have been firms who have been uh, telling people outrightly that we entertain people only from national law schools and that is not done because we also uh, deserve an equal chance. Yes. Therefore, uh, also this uh, website will also be giving SMS alerts regarding uh, whatever the uh, update of law is. People will be choosing their areas of like if someone is interested in medicine law, whatever a new legislation has been uh, added to the like any amendment, any legislation has come, will be given an SMS or an email alert. People who don't have access to computers will be given an SMS SMS alert because uh, like everyone owns a mobile these days. So that is how like a website for uh, the law students and also these law students will be further encouraged once this uh, law student helping is done. These will be encouraged to uh, let out, like extend free legal services to people. Also like in their uh, vicinity, online, through any uh, which way they can help. What kind of free legal services is as such like people don't have uh, access to legal services like they have to pay uh, fees for the lawyers and uh, they don't have the money to pay. Also people don't know that which lawyer to go to and whom to approach when I when we have a legal problem or should we file a case. Mm -hmm. So online people can connect with us or we can provide them with their phone numbers. Even a law student can help. Every college these days have a, have a free legal aid center. Mm -hmm. Through that we connect with people outside. I mean like here we in our college we have a free legal aid center. So online and as well as through phones. Second entrepreneurship idea that I have is that uh, to provide reading material to people uh, who are partially or completely hearing and uh, vis visually impaired. Not, not, not just for law, for anything, novels, magazines, anything. And uh, uh, it will be a concept of talking books. Talking books would be basically that uh, people who can't read through anything like a temporary impairment or something who are uh, not able to read they will be given uh, provided with talking books people will be volunteering or uh, at a later stage we can provide them revenue as well uh, that they will be recording books for those who can't read and uh, who like there are people who have become impaired at a later stage also they could read but then they can't like after that they can't after a point of time so that will be for them also, there are, there are people who do not have access to internet, so uh, the copyright uh, will be intact of the, like suppose there is a uh, there is an author called Salman Rushdie. If his book needs to be provided to a person who doesn't have the money to buy a Salman Rushdie's book, these will be uh, sent out to NGOs and uh, NGOs can uh, buy the books from us at a subsidized rate because the, the website will be at subsidized also, and uh, the talking books thing will be at subsidized and uh, the books will be at subsidized. Like, they will, they will be subsidized as well. 
so we can give this to N- give this to NGOs tie up with NGOs tie up with the like Be- there is a website also called Better World Books, which will uh, which extends help uh, through like help for the books to to the schools, mm-hmm. like KVs and other schools and villages and etc. So th- those will be provided with the books. They do not get in their cities and they not they do not have access to. And visually impaired and hearing impaired people will be provided with talking books. So that is all about my business ideas. Mm-hmm.